لازم نشال هذا طيب تمام انا يعني مثل مثل ريسايكل نعمل ابديت ايش في عندي موضوع تستطيع ترسل تستطيع ترسل هذا هونيك اليوم؟ موجودين اليوم هم عم يطلع اليوم عندي انا عندي جوله كامله في المدرسه مشان موضوع حساب الالكتريكال لوز اليوم في تبليات كثير هون شفتها من قسم الاغاثه تمام قسم اللوجستيه تاخذ شوي من هون وزبط المكان واحط هون شوي سبيل الدموع سبيل مريح تنا أدا يا صاحي كي تستريح وبث الدعاء الخفي الصريح يسعك الفضاء الرحيم الفسيح. What's this place? Okay, this is basically a what do you call a Qurbani project. Okay. Um, Eid is about... I, I understand that, but, uh, but the English speakers... Okay, so for Eid, yeah. Al-Adha, we have two Eids. For the second Eid, we do, uh, which Eid is a celebration, um, and obviously because we're in a predominantly Muslim country, yeah. uh, they do a sacrifice um, for this day, for the three days of, of this Eid. Um, and the majority of people here in Syria, they don't eat from one Eid to the next. Right. So this don't is... They don't eat meat, sorry. So this is one of them, uh, or one of the beautiful things about Islam in a sense, where we have stuff like zakah, which is a, a obligatory uh, arms that people have to pay. And also, qurbani, or slaughtering uh, animal, is also something that has to be done once a year. And obviously, um, in the situation that we're in here in Syria, it's something that's very beneficial. So this year, yeah. we've got a massive project. This is the biggest uh, sacrifice that we're going to do this year. We're doing um, for three different organizations, close to 10 tons of meat. It's going to be uh, feeding close to 2,000 families, inshallah. Right. This is uh, only a fifth of the sheep, 31 sheep here. So I'm we're going to have more coming in uh, throughout the rest of the day, inshallah. So I'm getting excited now. One of the most difficult things that we're facing now, or I'm facing now, is that Everywhere I go, people are asking me, not for irata, that's normal, I'm used to that, for work, for work. And, I mean, that's the saddest thing because, because of the situation the area currently is in, um, with the tightening of the borders, uh, the closing of uh, stuff like cement and metal coming in through the border, um, a lot of people have lost their jobs, uh, their livelihoods. Also, the recent infighting between two of the groups and one of the groups basically collapsing has resulted in the loss of a lot of, a lot of jobs for a lot of the people here. So it's really difficult when you see people that used to have jobs, they used to have uh, some kind of work, now they basically, they basically become, uh, in a sense, uh, unemployed. And to be unemployed in a situation like this is really, really difficult. You know, we've had a lot of people trying to advise us online and so on and so forth, but it's difficult when you don't have people on the ground uh, that, can, that, can, that can do the work in a sense. Uh, where are we going right now? Okay, so this is one of our projects. This is a big campus here. It's got different projects inside it. Okay. Um, and one of the projects here is Madrasa Abna Sham, which is one of our... Uh, primary schools. Yeah. Um, tell us a bit about the school, that this project that you're running. So this is one of our flagship projects. Uh, this is a project that's close to heart. We've been working on this for the last four years. And it's one of our biggest successes. This is the administration office of the school that you're sitting in. Um, and yeah, this, is, this needs a whole episode on itself. I would yeah. say. But today you're going to meet some of uh, our teacher. We'll meet our head teacher, inshallah, and go to see, meet her in her office. This is Anse Noura. She's the head teacher of the school. This is her office. Anse Noura, can you tell us a little bit about 
عملك هون وكيف بدأت هون والآن كيف رفعت مستواك بالنسبة للتعليم والخبرة؟ تمام إن شاء الله بدأنا في العمل هنا بمستوى بسيط جدا بعض الصفوف ثم حاولنا التطوير ورفع المستوى أكثر بداية عملي هنا كان مرحلة جديدة الكثير من الأمور التنظيمية الإدارية لم يكن لدي الاطلاع عليها سابقا أنت كنت مدرسة قبل صح؟ نعم قبل هذا كنت معلمة نعم بدأت هنا في المدرسة أتعلم أشياء جديدة مثل اللغات الحاسوب يعني هذا مهم جدا في العمل الإداري إذا الشخص يريد أن يعمل الحمد لله تجاوزنا المرحلة تمكنت من تعلم وتطوير في كثير من المستويات هذا ساعدني في عملي أكثر في تطوير العمل يعني الحمد لله بالنسبة لنا الإدارة نحن هي أكبر نجاح بالنسبة لنا نحن يعني نوجه الـ الـ الاخوه والاخوات السوريون وهم يعني يقومون بالمشاريع الحمد, الحمد لله الحمد لله حتى الخبرات التي يقدمونها في التنظيم في العمل هذا يساعدنا كثيرا This is <laughs> this is the where all the magic happens. No, I'm joking. This is the head office. This is head office. I'm tired, man. It's hot. It's like 12 o'clock. You can hear all the fans. Yeah. It's hot, man. It's the hottest part of the day. So you most of your time you spend here, or? To be honest, I don't like spending time here. But unfortunately, at the moment, because of all of the responsibilities and managing the projects, this is where I spend most of my time here. Yeah. Okay. Well, what do you normally do here? From here, this is the central office for all of the departments uh, of the whole organization. So that's from uh, media to logistics to education to aid. All of them are basically uh, managed. All the planning is done here. Um, and yeah, this is what basically this head office is. Does it get stressful? Um, definitely it gets stressful. One thing I've learned being here is that I've had to learn and study and develop myself like even right now I'm studying um, a lot of people not only here in Syria but outside Syria um, after speaking to some of the people here they feel like they can do more for the Muslims in the world do you have a message for not only the Muslims the non-Muslims do you, do you have a message for the people like they from a person being here in Syria doing all these projects, developing yourself while you, as you've been here with a family and children. Uh, do, do you have anything to say to them? Uh, my message would be that we have to be productive Muslims. Um, it's very easy to cry <clears throat> for the Muslim Ummah. And it's important we should show that emotion. But we need to channel that emotion into productivity. I think if everybody uh, assesses themselves and analyzes what they're actually um, putting forward um, I think that could be a big source for change you know unfortunately um, this is something that uh, we do a lot of we're very emotional but when it actually comes down to doing something and making sacrifices in life anything that you want you have to work hard for it so if we want uh, the Muslim Ummah to uh, you know, return to its former glory or we want to support the Muslims, we want to so stop the oppression that the Muslims are facing, then we have to work hard for it. We can't just think that by sitting at home and not giving no time that things are going to become all rosy. It needs people to come out of their comfort zones. Uh, that's my message to, to all of the brothers and sisters out there. I see that I mean, there's a lot of people that are doing a lot more grassroots work, getting involved, um, setting up organizations, institutions, um, journalism is very important, media is very important. I think this is the direction we need to go in. We need to build institutions on different levels so that we can strengthen the Muslim community.